And this is concerning the witness who saw the creature or the animal, whatever you want to call it, on this roundabout approaching Spittle Corner. And as you can see, that says the Spittle Inn. And to my right, you've got Flixton Wald. So, in words of witness who stood outside of me, and I'm not going to say it, this person's name, you were driving down here on what date? On the 30th of July, 2015, about 11pm, um, as we were coming towards the roundabout, I noticed something on the far side of the roundabout. Is that, is that to the right-hand side of the roundabout? Yeah, sort of like in the middle, but sort of like this, yeah, the far, you know what I mean, the far side. Right, okay. Because where it says vote leave, uh, the red yeah, sign. Sort of a bit, yeah, towards the right of that, yeah. To the right of the vote leave. Yeah. And in relation to a dog or a deer, what, what size would you say this thing was? Well, at the time I thought it looked like a big, sort of, a very large, scruffy dog. Probably more of, yeah, pony sort of size, yeah. Now, you've got to admit that that is pretty big. So, we obviously... Traffic's died down now, but we're not going to go on to the roundabout. It, it is a busy road and, uh, you know, it, it, it won't be wise to do that. But just for purpose of book, we thought we'd just put this little bit in so that readers can get an idea of where this thing was seen. And as we're looking up there, you've got Flixton Wald. Right, what you're looking at now is uh, a view from Flixton Wald and we're not at the top of it. And this is why I say that whatever we're dealing with in Flixton that keeps being seen from time to time is not flesh and blood because there's easy pickings and we don't see them strewn about all over fields. Yet this thing's been reported for hundreds of years. What you're looking at below is Flixton Star Car. That used to be a huge lake 11,000 years ago, Lake Flixton. Carman's Spittle is down there, so we'll just pr proceed a little bit more. We're at the top of Flixton Wall now, and this uh, woodland extends for a long way either side of me. And as you see, over in the distance, you can see Scarborough and Oliver's Mount, and we're still looking down onto Flixton Star Car, the Vale of York over that way, just to give people a rough idea. At layout at land when we talk about things like the Flixton werewolf which as we know does not exist I keep stressing that because I do believe something is appearing in this area and has been for many many years long before uh, I started looking into it but it's more of a paranormal nature this is where we come if we do a sky watch or if we spend any time here uh, just observing so this story is covered extensively in truth proof so uh, anybody looking at this you've got a rough uh, layout of the land just showing your uh, RAF Staxton wall there you go so that's at top of Flixton wall right I'm walking down Flixton Wald now, uh, just spent uh, quite a few hours up here. I'm not actually coming up here thinking I'm going to see anything, if anybody uh, thinks that for one second. I'm coming up here because the, the location is so interesting. And as you can see, it's dense and I say it's just a, it's, it's a wonderful place to be anyway. But, uh, as you can see, when you look at the layout of the land, it's pretty steep. Look at that. Not for the faint-hearted, walking up here, and I've been up here day, night, winter, summer, spring. And uh, there's remnants of and when the RAF uh, were building locations up here. So there you go, I mean it's interesting in itself that a lot of these things, these unusual creatures are seen around military installations as well. You know, uh, not sure what that means, 
Right, we're in a small section of uh, Flixton Walled Woods and it's two o'clock in the afternoon. An amazing place and uh, quite where this uh, Flixton uh, creature fits into all this I don't know. As you can see there's not massive amount expanses of area to hide in and if you don't believe in paranormal nature of things then I can't expect you to accept what is being reported to me and what has been seen over such a long time span. However it has been reported I do believe some of the people have seen this thing but we're still no wiser as to what it is. But here we go. Let's see shafts of light coming through. There we go. So, right, just a brief view of Flixton Wold and my dog Wolfie. There's the Flixton Werewolf. Still filming Woodland. This is the area where in uh, very close to where uh, the two young boys claimed that uh, they saw that creature sat again the burial mounds that would be just over that brow the last person to see this creature was in 2015 and they saw it on the uh, roundabout at, at 11 o'clock at night a young lady saw it with her husband and two small children in the back of the car and it was on the roundabout and she described it as being as big as a pony but a dog now there's absolutely no way on earth that anything that size would go undetected the amount of calories it would need to sustain itself every day is quite unbelievable I mean, something that weighs 300 pounds is going to consume 3,500 calories a day at least. Yet, uh, it's something that people don't seem to consider when they actually think this creature's flesh and blood. But there you go. I'm back at Flixton and I'm walking uh, around Flixton Wold with the, the witness who claims that she saw this strange creature what was the date please? Um, it was the 30th of July 2015 and she so what was it that you actually think you saw and maybe thinks not the word because you did you claim you saw this and I've no reason to disbelieve you I saw something like a large animal on the far side of the roundabout um, like a very large dog um, I don't think there is a dog that size that it could have been um, with a long um, a long tail to the ground and did it have a pointed snout you said it did yeah like a yeah like a pointed face uh, what type of dog would you say if it um, resembled the most like a sort of alsatian type dog okay um, and, it, and 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 size wise compared to an alsatian it's a lot lot bigger a lot lot bigger very <laughs> big Okay, so, so this thing was on all fours or do you think it was squatted down? It looked like it was sort of, its back end higher than its front end, it looked like it was crouching sort of down. Looking like over? Was, yeah, like, yeah, like it was looking at something or smelling something. Right. Um, okay. it had sort of pointy ears. And, and you, did, you commented, I mean I know it was a, a sort of fairly fast sighting because you were you were travelling in car yeah. approaching roundabout but you commented that it, it looked it, muscular yes it did yeah right so but, but do you think we can definitely rule out a deer it wasn't a deer it wasn't the, the shape of a deer 